to uh, celebrate the first official long weekend of the summer, uh, an official start to summer. Well, there he is, Chef Paul Lillikas. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, Bob. I'm good. How are you? Good. We got some PEI oysters. Yes, yes. I mean, I mean, do you like oysters? I love oysters. Yeah, although, I mean, there's, I myself, like, I love them now, but at first it was like, uh, but. Exactly. Yeah. I think it, there's such a homegrown delicacy. It's such a shame so many people have that squeamishness about them. So I'm going to show you a way that I love to introduce them to people. Even people who have that reaction, I'm going to do grilled oysters. These are bathed in a garlicky, herby butter. And they're just a great way to give somebody that oyster experience and enjoy something that we grow right here in Canada. Okay. All right. So I'm going to shuck one. These are Raspberry Point oysters from PEI. Okay, that's the tough just, part. It, you know, it's not that tough. And uh, you get an oyster knife. You keep your hands safe here. You get underneath. You unhinge the top. And like, if you can't see very well here, I encourage you to check out the socialshell.com. There's videos and all kinds of resources on how to do this and recipes. You'll find this recipe there as well. It's all put together by the PEI oyster fishermen. So I always say this all the time. There's no better time to support our homegrown farmers. And now I'm just giving each oyster a dollop of this butter. This has garlic, a little bit of finely grated asiago, a little horseradish, black pepper. These are all things that go great with oysters. Uh -huh. And now you won't believe how easy this is. Get your grill ripping hot. And then all you do is carefully place them right on the grill, just like that. And you don't even have to touch them. And they'll tell you when they're done. That butter will melt. It will start to caramelize around the edges. Give it a close. And when oh. it's done, check check this out you get this beautiful little ring around the edge so they really do tell you when they're done they tighten up a bit and they're just these delicious little nuggets serve them right away they... you can even them serve them with a little fork and trust me any oyster non-believer will love them these are beautiful grilled pei oysters they look amazing are there any rules on how we eat them do we swallow do we chew or how do they go down yeah i well, I would certainly, I would certainly chew them. You know, these are nicely washed and rinsed, so you can shoot them just like that. But they're just a little bit easier to kind of wrap your head around if you're a first timer with oysters. Yeah. And of course, you gotta serve them with a beautiful cocktail, something to balance that richness. Yeah. What would you pair are... with that? Okay, so I was thinking something citrusy and with big flavor because these have big flavor. So I'm gonna make a rum mule. This is kind of a version of a Moscow mule, mm -hmm. but I'm using. Diplomatico Exclusiva Reserva. This is a beautiful Venezuelan rum. It's got a lot of flavor. It's aged up to 12 years. So I'm gonna add about an ounce of that into a highball glass, or you could do it in a mule glass. And then some lime. I wanna balance this with citrus, lots of freshness. So about 10 milliliters of lime juice and then ginger beer. So again, this rum, this stands up to the big flavor of ginger beer. Big flavor, summery, refreshing. So top that up. And then, of course, just some ice. Goes right in just up to the top. And this is refreshing. It's beautiful. A little bit of lime and a little bit of mint to garnish. Just give that a nice stir. And that's a summery cocktail, but with flavor. It's not just, you know, light and refreshing. It's got nice caramel tones. It's delicious. And that rum's available at the LCBO. This is a beautiful pairing. Trust me, give it a shot. Oh man, that actually looks amazing for the uh, long weekend. That's a, that's a great combo there. What's the availability yeah. of oysters like these days? And what do we look for when we're buying them? Okay. So you can find oysters luckily pretty much year round in Canada. Um, and you're looking for a nice shape, especially if you're gonna grill them, you're looking for a flat top, a nice rounded bottom, so that they'll sit nicely on the grill here. Okay, and well, we gotta go, also, but so, you know, we're gonna put those links up that you mentioned so yeah, we can go check it out get online. going with that great combination for the long weekend. Good to see you, Chef Paul Ellicus. Absolutely, have a great weekend.